welcome back to my art channel Jashan Art. I am Jashan and I am here with another art challenge. And today I am going to do something new. Yesterday I was thinking about seven colors of light and as you know blue color is my favorite one. That's why it is in the background. So I thought that why not to paint something in blue shade only and that time I had a burst of ideas and I was having a lot of things in my mind to paint in blue shade and I picked few out of those and I am going to paint today a scenery, a portrait and a seascape. So what we are waiting for, let's start with this video. So my medium for today's painting is acrylics and paper so let's start. So these are my acrylics and I am going to take these out on my glass palette as today I am planning to paint three paintings so I am ready with my paints. Let's start with our first painting. I am going to paste my paper on the table and going to start with my first painting which is scenery painting. Oh shit! I completely forgot that I am not going to use watercolors today. I am applying a lot of water on my paper as if I am going to use watercolors. But wait, actually this is really very good idea. Why not to try this? Now I am going to use acrylics like watercolors to paint this first one painting and I am really hoping for the best result and I know this experiment is going to work out for sure. Now as I have already applied a lot of water on my sheet so now I am going to use flat 12 number brush and cobalt blue paint to paint the sky on my paper. I am painting the sky in a way as if it is having a lot of clouds in it so I am just applying few touches of the paint in the water which is spreading and making its own way so I am doing nothing here. Guys, let me tell you, it is so pleasing experience to paint with your favorite colors. Actually, I have another idea. Why not you people tell me your favorite colors and I will create some monochromatic paintings in your favorite colors too. This is really amazing idea. So tell me your favorite colors in comments and I will definitely create paintings in your favorite colors. I am waiting for your comments. Now I am mixing a little bit of black paint to my blue paint for painting trees and as you can see the outcome of this is really amazing and it is like I am applying ink on my paper because it is spreading that way. As I told you that I am just applying paint in the water. It is making its own way. It is spreading by nature. Its nature is to getting mixed in water and spreading all around and it's doing so. So I am just becoming lazy and letting my paint to do its own work. And it is turning out really amazing. Win-win situation. In this painting, I am planning to paint few huts and trees in the background with the path and tree in the front. In this painting, I am applying various tones and shades of blue to make my monochromatic painting realistic. For making tones, we need to mix white, different quantities of white in blue shade and for preparing shades of blue, we need to mix black paint in it. Now I am going to use shades of blue for which I have to mix black in the blue paint. And I am going to paint leaves and bushes near the huts and a lot of stuff with these shades. After doing this, I am going to use triple zero brush and black paint to draw buildings and hut and uh, outline everything that I am going to paint today. And with all these outlines, I am going to add more details in everything. And after doing this, I am going to add highlights in my painting for which I am going to use white paint directly. And this is going to make my painting turn out really amazing. I guess I am now done with the buildings and trees. So I am going to draw a few birds in the sky. Because birds represent freedom. And I love freedom. So let's paint some free souls flying in the sky. After painting these free souls, I think I must add few more details in my painting. So using white paint, I am going to add more details and after doing this, I am moving forward to paint some grass in front. So 
After painting this grass and few more branches in the tree, this painting is now ready. Let's sign it. As I am done with this painting, so after removing the tapes, this painting is really looking amazing. But uh, I am going to apply white paint in the margin to make this stand out. So this painting is now ready and it is looking really amazing and really beautiful. It is really crazy painting. What do you think about this painting? So guys, I know you like this scenery and you are loving this. So I am too excited to move to the next one which is Krishna painting. So let's paint that. I have already fixed my paper on the table for Krishna painting and I am going to start with the sketch. For this, I am starting by drawing the eyes and then I am going to draw Krishna's face, his nose, lips and his turban and uh, you know, when I thought about blue colors paintings, the first thing that came in my mind was Krishna's portrait. In paintings, we always paint Krishna in blue skin because once he drank poisoned milk, so his skin was having some kind of bluish tone so we paint him in that way and also because sky is blue so we paint Krishna the Lord in blue paint and this thing is really amazing so as I am done with the, this sketch and uh, this painting is really perfect for blue painting so let's start with the painting I am going to start it with eyes and then I am going to paint the face I am going to apply very thin layers of paint on the face to paint it realistically. For adding shadows, I am adding a little bit of black paint in it and uh, now let me paint blue in the background which is going to be complete plain blue. Until the paint in the face is getting dried up, I am going to finish this. Now I am going to paint eyebrows using black paint. Then I'm going to add details in the nose and cheeks using same black paint and uh, before moving towards the eyes I am going to spend a lot of time in adding details here. After just filling blue shade in the lips I am going to add details in the eyes uh, with black paint and um, after outlining the eyes and adding details I am going to paint the lashes and after this let me finish the lips chin and the rest of the face okay i am done with the face but i think face shape is not the perfect so i have to fix it for which i am going to paint one more layer in the background using black paint after painting the background again i am going to paint his ear and hair he is already looking really beautiful with his sparkly shiny eyes and curly hair but I am adding more and more details in his face and hair to make him look amazing and out of this world. Now I am going to paint his turban and peacock feather that he always used to tuck in his turban. And um, as I have applied first layer of paint over it until it is getting dried up, let me start painting his flute. For painting flute, I am firstly applying only white layer of paint here. Now again, I have to leave this flute for getting dried up, so I am going to add details in the peacock feather. So I am going to use same three shades for the peacock feather and uh, I am really putting all my heart in this painting and I really want this painting to work out because you know blue is my favorite color and today I really want all my three paintings to shine like diamonds and I really want each and every artwork that I'm going to paint today to be the perfect one. So as I'm done with his peacock feather so let me paint his earring as uh, ancient men from India used to wear earrings so this is really going to be a really beautiful thing. Now I am going to add more details in his turban, in his earring and after adding all these details, I am going to add details in his flute. These leaves which I am painting with mix up of blue and black are really adding balance in my painting. These are adding more weight to the background. And with these, my painting is now ready. Let me sign this painting and then remove 
remove the tapes to reveal the final result. Oh, wait. It's not complete. I forgot. I don't know why I'm doing such things today. I had to paint Telk with Dome on his forehead which is going to complete my painting but I completely forgot that. So let me paint that Telk now. Okay, with this Telk now my painting is ready. Have a close up look on this painting. I am really in love with this painting and I am sure you too. Don't lie, you also love this painting. So guys, as this Krishna painting turned out really amazing and the scenery was awesome. So my expectation from the third one are on the peak now and I am really going to work hard to get that perfect also. So without wasting much time, let's move towards our seascape painting. I am too excited. What you are seeing? I am using the same masking tape again and again today. This is only because of my laziness to get the new tape roll from the drawer. I don't want to get up from here. But you don't worry, the painting I'm going to paint now is really fresh and wavy, so it's nothing to do with laziness. Because we are painting ocean waves today, so yay, we are going to paint ocean waves which are my favorite subject to paint. Let me start with the blue background and uh, some wave-like round strokes of brush using same shade. Now, using mix-up of blue and black, I am going to paint the waves, um, basically the basic structure of waves and few lines in these. After doing this, I am going to use light blue shade which is mix-up of white and blue and white paint directly to add details in my waves. Even though I am adding details, my waves are already looking really cool. What do you think? These are really having my heart. Okay, now I am done with the basic structure. So now I only need to add some kind of splash of water in my painting. So to paint the splash of water, I am only going to use the white paint. And I am going to initially paint using brush. And then I am going to make it more realistic by sprinkling some white paint drops on my artwork. For sprinkling this paint, I just added a lot of water in it nothing more. Now after painting the impact zone and white water around the wave, my painting is now ready. Let me sign this. This is really amazing. Now after removing the tapes, I am applying white acrylic paint in the margin to make my painting look more and more amazing and this artwork is now ready. It's really looking realistic guys. Now this painting is my favorite. I am absolutely in love with this. So guys, let me show you the other artworks also and all are really amazing. But the second one and third one completely stole my heart. Which one is your favorite? Do let me know in the comment section. All are really amazing, but I really love the second and third one. Which you loved? Do let me know in the comments. Guys, I know you like this video. I know you can't lie. You like this. So as you like this video, press the like button and share this video with your family and friends. And guys, to meet me in my next video, you have to subscribe this channel. So press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get notifications for all my new videos first. I am waiting for your subscription. So I'll meet you there. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. You are amazing.